the story I'm about to tell you is about a magical place. The kind of place to take your family for a summer vacation. Crystal clear water, boating, sightseeing, and swimming. A place that looks like it's been taken right out of a fairy tale. And although traveling there doesn't require any magic beans or a beanstalk, it is a story about a kingdom of giants. Oh, dude. Oh my God, dude, fish. Where the St. Lawrence River meets Lake Ontario lies an almost mystical looking waterway that blends a scenic natural paradise with charming waterfront homes in perfect harmony. Where stunning architecture sets as a backdrop of residential grandeur. Here, you don't just own a home, you own an entire island. Stretching from Cape Vincent at the eastern end of Lake Ontario to Ogdensburg, 50 miles downstream, all while straddling the U.S.-Canadian border, the Thousand Islands features a rich history combined with tour boats, immense cargo barges, and some of the most dramatic fishing terrain you will ever experience. This place is without question the fishiest looking place on the planet. It's a turquoise freshwater retreat that has the feel of a tropical coastal village. Looking out over it will make the hair on the back of your neck stand up. An aura of oversized inhabitants hangs thick, like the air on a humid day. Here you can just feel the big fish potential. It's no wonder why Bassmasters Magazine named this place as the top bass fishing destination in the country. With an abundance of forage, a healthy variety of vegetation, and crystal clear visibility, this place boasts fantastic sport fishing for every species known to fresh water. While fishing here in the spring of 2020, my father boated a seven pound smallmouth, which at the time was just one pound four ounces short of the state record. Now, two years later, I'm back, but with a new record in mind. This time on a family vacation, I'll have to maximize my opportunities. We have our fun with a variety of species. Oh, that helps fill the time and keeps everyone else happy. That's her. Oh my gosh. Including this eight pound drum my 10 year old son hooks up with. Yeah. Got the drum. Make sure you get her head in the net first. Yeah. Those were all fun, but it's not why I came here. With limited time to fish, I focused my efforts on the peak feeding hours, early morning and dusk, sometimes trolling and other times casting. 
Muskies are without question the most difficult fish to catch in the St. Lawrence. And that's why what happens next is truly magnificent. Lots of rocks over this way. So much good looking water. Oh, dude. Oh my God, dude, fish. Oh my gosh, dude, fish. Oh my gosh. Get that net. Oh my gosh, dude. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh my God, dude. It's big. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, oh my God, it's just, dude, it's a giant musky. Oh my God, dude, it's a giant musky. All right, dude, as soon as you get as soon as you get a shot at her, you gotta go head first, dude. Do you hear me? Head first. Okay. 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 Whew. Oh my god. Okay, ready? Get her. Get her. Dude, get her. Get her head in there. Oh my gosh. Scoop. Scoop. Yeah! Are you kidding me? Thousand Islands, day one. Look what just happened. We're probably 50 casts into the morning, and this rat's giant musky gobbled up my glide bait. If you ever come to visit this fishery, it doesn't take long to realize that it's a special place. Its potential is as clear as the water that flows through it. It's a battlefront for all things that are big. Big homes. Big water. Big boats. And best of all, really big fish. <laughs>